Hey, it's Michael. Giving you that information and that knowledge to hike with confidence. We're going to talk about uh, one of the big things that comes up a lot here in the Bay Area is where to hike when it's winter. When you got all that rain and hiking's kind of muddy and some people don't like that. And that's okay. I'm a big muddy hiker kind of guy. I don't mind it, but it can be a bit annoying sometimes. And sometimes people don't want to get all muddy. So where can you go to hike um, in the winter? So I'm going to have Beth talk about these uh, these places to hike. She's really familiar with a lot of the areas of hiking in the Bay Area. And she's going to go through that top 10 with you. Stay tuned. She's also got some honorable mentions. You definitely want to check on that. And all right. So let's go ahead and one, two, two or three. And Hi, this is Beth, the Bay Area Hiking Guides. And today we're going to talk about the top 10 places to hike in the Bay Area in the winter time. These are places you can go um, that are either paved or good hard packed gravel um, that you're not going to get your boots piled up with mud, um, minimal mud, um, and also interesting places to walk. Number 10 would be Lake Chabot. You can hike from the marina, you can go out either the West Shore Trail toward the dam, or you can go the East Shore Trail over near Hawker Bay. Um, and that is all paved, it's nice and you know, by the water, it's a nice hike. Nine would be uh, Alum Rock Park in um, San Jose, it's South Bay. And there's paved areas that you can hike, um, hike through the central area of the park. It's paved, it's really interesting, it's very historical, a lot of interesting stonework. Um, a nice creek runs through there, um, so that's really nice. And number eight would be Alam the Alamo Creek Trail in Dublin. Um, runs into the Iron Horse Trail. Um, you could do a nice loop about five miles through the neighborhood there using the Alamo Creek Trail, the Iron Horse Trail, and Old Ranch Road. Um, it's by the creek. There's lots of, you see lots of bird life, wildlife in through there. It's really nice. Um, number seven uh, would be Coyote Hills, which is also in the South Bay in Fremont. There's a paved, uh, the Bayview Loop Trail that goes around um, Around Coyote Hills, it's by the by the water, by the bay. Lots of bird life. Also, you see pelicans, egrets, um, that kind of thing in there. It's very nice. It's all paved. Okay, there's also the Rocky Ridge Trail in Las Trompas. Um, there's a nice one-mile uh, paved trail that you can hike up. It's about a thousand feet elevation gain if you want to get a good workout. And also, if you go, even if you go up onto the ridge, it's, it's usually pretty good. It's usually not too muddy up there. It's very sandstone. It, it usually stays pretty good. Okay, we also have um, number five, the Sycamore Grove Trail in Livermore. Uh, it's, it's just a lot of paved areas through there, also in the water. Um, you also see lots of wildlife in there, lots of bird, birds and wildlife and a beautiful creek running through there. So that's a nice place to hike, too. Okay, so number four would be uh, Mount Diablo, the Mitchell Canyon um, entrance. You can go up the Mitchell Canyon Trail. Um, there's a little bit of mud in there, but it's really nice. Um, usually stays pretty good. You can go about four miles. You can even just go up to the picnic bench and come back, and that's a four-mile trail along the creek. Or you can go up higher. You can go up to Deer Flat. That's like seven and a half miles and about 1,500 feet of elevation gain. So that's a really good workout. Especially as you get higher up, it's very sandy, rocky, gravelly soil, so that stays, stays really hard packed. Number three would be uh, Tilden. You can start from Inspiration Point and go out on Nimitz Way, which is paved. Um, you can do about a five mile loop, uh, five mile out and back, I'm sorry. Um, nice views of the bay if it's clear out. There's beautiful views of San Francisco up there, and it's a really nice trail. Okay, number two would be Pleasanton Ridge. Um, you can hike up from the foothill staging area, go up the hill, and especially if you go out and down to the left, down to Sonol, that's all gravel down there. You go down to the town of Sonol and come back, that's about a six mile hike that you can do. It's really nice, good, good trail conditions. Okay, some honorable mentions um, that don't quite make the top ten. Uh, one of them would be the Iron Horse Trail very accessible, very easy. It's generally flat, so you don't get much elevation gain. Um, you could do Carquinez Scenic Drive in um, Martinez. Going out of Martinez, you can go out toward Crockett. Um, that's all paved. You could do that. 
You could do Half Moon Bay a little further out. You can go along the coastal trail. That's all paved. Um, go right along the ocean. And another one could be uh, San Francisco City Hikes. You can do all kinds of hikes in the city that are really nice too. Um, and of course it's all paved. Uh, my number one pick would be Sinol Regional. Um, most of the trails here are really pretty good, gravelly, hard packed, especially if it's really wet, you can go out just out to Ohlone Road, um, go out to Little Yosemite, right along the creek. It's, it's beautiful, um, and that is a great place to go. It's probably my number one pick for, um, for winter time. All right, thank you so much for checking out the channel. I really appreciate it. You guys are all so awesome. Uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, and Keep on hiking.